Brazil would be the top seed, and everybody else falls in after that. Qualifying would be in early January uh, over in Lincoln. And a point for Texas to open up this second set. The Jayhawks in blue. Huskers in their home whites. Kelsey Payne had five kills in that first set. The difference really came at the service line. Four errors for Kansas, three aces for Nebraska. But they're still hitting it hard, and they've given themselves a chance here. I just don't think Kansas is used to the level of heat coming at them with these hitters, with the Ralsons, with Cecilia Hall in the middle, and Michaela Fecky unleashing on the left side. Nebraska's not used to facing somebody who has such a high contact point. Maybe a little unorthodox, but still Kelsey Payne figures out ways to put it down. She's a former middle, which is very unusual to see her hitting on the left. She puts that ball to the floor. Paul is having herself a nice start. Yeah, especially when you have a blocker across the net like Rigdon who got confused and gets stuck in the middle. Watch, she gets interested in the setter, and then there's nobody in front of her. Cecilia Hull, easy kill. Time to two here early in the second. Wong Arantes will serve. Bump to Rigdon by Avili, dug up by Justine. Back row attack, right in Avili. And Rigdon into the net. Jayhawks. So far, Rigdon really struggling. One kill, three errors on six, or sorry, three errors on seven attempts. Kansas got to get her going to get some left side attack. Behind the Janae Hall, junior out of Centennial, Colorado. She will rotate out as weight sense of coach on the floor for Kansas and Ray Bouchard in their first national semifinal. The first time they've been ranked in the top ten, Bouchard was the coach of the year. Avili was the setter of the year. And a season of firsts. Since he's a little frustrated with the Kings, have gone from behind the service line in particular. Payne dug up in the back. Hunter tried to push it deep. Payne over pass. Susie couldn't quite get all of it. Fecky off the block and out. John Cook told us that freshman hits it as hard as anybody they've ever had here. I don't think any of their own passers want to face her <laughs> in practice. They're glad to get to the game when she's at the service line. Again for Payne. See how high she was. That was about the top of the antenna. Just elevating straight over. That's how you neutralize a block. Look at the hang time, too, on that going right over the top. Fecky again. Crushes one. Hey, could you hear her? You gotta love that as a freshman. We saw that in the first semi, too. She was screaming for the ball. Go, go. That's the type of set that she's naming. It's pretty low. Gets out to the sideline fast. And she crushes it. Susie. Blocked. Took the cross. Susie on the slide. Player of the Year in the Big Ten. Fiend wanted a touch, doesn't get it. Point Kansas. Interesting to note, this is the second match in a row where we've had a team serving at the lead row as Nebraska continues to serve it towards weight. They're testing weight. I don't think they're having as much success as happened in the first semifinal, but certainly want to learn more about what she can do. They haven't played each other in quite a number of years. This is the first meeting between these two in five years. 
Kansas has never beaten Nebraska. Actually making the block your friend. Kelsey Fiend did it perfectly. She hits it in, gets it back, and then gets a better swing to hit against Habili the second time. You can use that block to actually get the ball back for you for three more contacts. Bit of a net violation there on Kansas as Habili reached to keep it alive. Diamond in the rough, not really recruited until Kansas came calling. Washington, a little bit later in her career, wins the joust there at the net. Now, Bailey wasn't highly recruited until Kansas showed up. They were the first big name program, and then when everybody else started to swarm, she said, Nope, I'm going to stay loyal to these guys. They were the first ones at my door, and they were true to me. I'll be true to them. Setter of the year. What a connection for her and the Jayhawks. Speed does get a touch there. Second year as a starter and all Big Ten performer last year. side to send that right back as Dockery couldn't get it between them. Told us yesterday as long as she can remember she's been chasing her older sister around the state. Prepper and Jim's all across Nebraska. Her mom played here. And off the ricochet point Kansas. Faithful. Well, he talked to Russ Rose, and he talked to Terry Pettit, the former head coach here, who he considers one of his mentors. Talked about a situation that the Jayhawks have never been in before, playing in front of a crowd like this. And this week they turned the volume up as high as they could <laughs> in practice. They had music going, just tried to drown it out to where you, they couldn't even hear each other talk, figuring that could happen. 17,000 plus. They set a new attendance record this weekend for the semis and the finals. This is quite a hotbed for volleyball. They uh, 
Huskers led the nation in attendance at the Devaney Center back in Lincoln where they have sold out 204 consecutive matches. The longest stretch for NCAA women in any sport. And just 54 miles away here in Omaha at the Century Link Center. Kansas creeps back to within two. Leap at the line. The service errors have been lethal. That's seven now in the match. And I think she has at least three yes. of those. That's the person that they really count on to cause havoc with the opposing passers. Junior out of Gardner, Kansas, who played for her father, Daryl, who was her high school coach. Becky gets another good swing on it. A lot of weapons for the Huskers. Katie Rolfson serving. Floats it towards Payne. She'll get it right back. And pounded right into Rolfson. Well, that's how you do it all. <laughs> Now she's turning into a passer, too. <laughs> what next? She passes, hits about a foot over the block, and then now it's her turn to step out and rest and get ready to do it again because so she gets in the front row. And the response from Katie's sister Amber with the kill. And boy, has she embraced that. It was at last spring when Coach Cook talked to her and said, what do you think of playing middle? She said, well, I pretty much hate it. <laughs> so he kept asking. She kept answering, and now she's growing to like it. Love it, actually. All she did was lead the Big Ten in blocks. It's the best blocking season at Nebraska in 10 years. Not only has she embraced it, but she has thrived in that position. And she and her sister switched from a left side hitter, with Fiend making a nice move there, to an opposite hitting on the right side.